Hey Scorpios, let's get into your messages at this time. Remember to take what resonates and leave what does not. Messages for Scorpios at this time, Spirit. Messages for Scorpios at this time. They live for the drama. Okay. Karma, what goes around... What goes around comes around. You hold high rank in the spiritual realm in the next seven days and an opportunity is about to knock on your door, Scorpio. All right, a lot going on here. So it says your skills and talents are needed at this time. All right, so make sure you're definitely putting your skills and your talents out there, Scorpio. All right, why is they live for the drama here? Whoever is whoever is creating drama um or is very drama filled, I feel like they're about to receive some sort of karma here, Scorpio. Look at that. The devil jumping out. 111 on the timer. Could be a Capricorn, doesn't have to be, but somebody who is toxic. They love the toxicity, Scorpio. This could be somebody who really stirs the pot. All right. Tell me more about they live for the drama. Ace of Swords and the Knight of Cups. There's truth. There's clarity. There's a breakthrough. I feel like you're definitely going to have victory over whoever it is that may be trying to create drama in your life. Um, or somebody very significant, especially with that devil jumping out. Somebody who was very, very, very toxic in your life. Um, I'm, I feel like this is like the main character who loved to stir the pot. All right. Somebody very manipulative, envious. I feel like you're going to get some sort of truth or clarity about this person. Um, and you're going to have victory over this person. I keep hearing victory over your enemies, Scorpio. We have Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Some of you may, may be also gaining some sort of clarity around a Knight of Cups. Um, somebody who's coming in to like offer you some sort of love gesture, uh, love offer, a romantic offer, possibly even an invitation. This is somebody who lives for the drama, okay? Again, somebody who stirs the pot. So be mindful of that. This person comes off very charming, very sweet. Um, but deep down inside, Scorpio, they're the devil. Just plotting. <laughs> Especially if y'all, if y'all, it's Thanksgiving coming up. Y'all going to family members' houses or anything like that. Um, you know, just be mindful of that. Give me a little more for they live for the drama. The Ten of Cups. Okay. Yeah, this could have to do with family, Scorpio. This could definitely have to do with family. Could be another water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Mm. I feel like there's harmony coming into a family situation for some of you. There's harmony. There's joy. There's peace. After someone was trying to do something, create some sort of, uh, some drama here. The Hierophant, Taurus energy. Mm. I don't know if this looks good, Scorpio. This feels good. So whoever that is, I feel like is irrelevant or going to become extremely irrelevant in the near future i feel like there's clarity there's forward movement and there's happy times to come in um again this could be that this person is about to get their karma okay so tell me about what goes around comes around karma for scorpio eight of cups okay so this person people could be walking away from this person all right um Mm. Mm. 
somebody who walked away from Scorpio is either in the in the throes of getting some sort of karma. They're they're about to. Something is uh, is going to be illuminated to you. I feel like you were disappointed with this person, with the situation. Tell me more about this. Somebody's going to have to walk away and leave you alone if they are causing drama in your life, Scorpio. We have the King of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, so this could be an Earth sign, doesn't have to be, who may be getting some sort of karma here. If not, this King of Pentacles could be a spouse, um, could be some sort of boss, a business owner, masculine energy here. <clears throat> this person could be, <clears throat> excuse me. This person could be going to jail or spiritual jail here. Um, there's this energy of someone feeling trapped. Someone feeling... Um, restricted here. This person, this King of Pentacles, for some of you, there's there's karma around a King of Pentacles. For some of you, this is a boss. For, for others of you, this may be a spouse. Um, or maybe even a business partner for others of you. But there's definitely finances connected to this person, resources, material things. This is somebody who could have been trying to bind you financially, restrict you financially as well, um, keeping you stuck in that sense. But I feel like karma is about to play out for whoever this is for trying to keep you stuck, especially when it comes to um, like on a financial level. And I see you walking away from the situation or you've some of you may have already walked away. Somebody thought that they could keep you stuck. Again, could be a boss, could be a spouse, ex-spouse, maybe. Yeah, that karma's coming. You could be seeing 8-8 eight, eight in regards to that, Scorpio. The Page of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like there's also good news around money coming in, definitely, with the opportunity about to knock on your door. Tell me about you hold high rank in the spiritual realm. It's like spirit is not even really talking too much about the person who caused the drama here, Scorpio. And they're more so just focusing on you moving forward as well all right page of wands you hold high rank in the spiritual realm page of wands so some of you <clears throat> scorpios i feel like um now on a spiritual level i feel like you're hearing good news like you may be getting some sort of spiritual message or download that um when it comes to your spiritual rank okay something to do with who you are in the spiritual realm There's some sort of messenger or you may be some sort of messenger. Scorpio, I'm picking up on like Hermes. Some of you may work with that deity. Um, but yeah, there's something about a messenger here. Give me a little more on this. Six of Pentacles. Yeah, there's some sort of um, support coming in. Equal give and take, reciprocity. Something that's owed to you could be coming in as well, Scorpio. It's interesting because, you know, somebody here could look at you as young with the Page of Wands here. Maybe you come off youthful, fun, you know, young, but... It's like somebody has no idea the high rank that you hold in the spiritual realm, Scorpio. Something about being blessed. Somebody's always wondering how you're blessed, and but this is the reason why. It's like somebody looks at you like the page of wands. Somebody very young. I'm hearing naive. So, mm. give me one more here. The two of swords. Nine of Pentacles at the bottom. Wow. I feel like some of you... Whew, I don't know. Don't hide... <sighs> Don't hide away from how powerful you are, Scorpio, or don't ref like don't refute it. Don't refuse it. Don't deny it is what I want to say. Don't deny how powerful you are in the spiritual realm. OK. 
There could be something new that you're starting here, a new path you're taking on as well. It could be something um, spiritually based that could help others, that could really help others here with the Six of Pentacles. But some of you may be at a crossroads when it comes to that. Maybe because it's, I don't know. Maybe because you have the, the start of something, the beginning of something. I don't, Scorpio, don't, don't, um, don't hold yourself back, Knight of Swords. Okay. Nine of Pentacles again. This is interesting. This is like, you know, this is bringing me back to the story of White Buffalo Woman. If y'all have been on my channel for a while, you've probably heard that story a couple times because her card tends to come out a lot. But it's one of my favorite stories, right? And this is kind of giving me the that same energy here. Where it's like, that story is about um, two guys walking down the street and they see the sacred goddess sitting there. And one of them is like, I'm gonna go, go talk to her. I'm gonna go touch her, da, 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 right? And the other guy is like, nah, I don't think you should do that. I feel like that, I, th I think that's like a sacred being you should probably, you know, respect. And the other person's like, whatever. So they go and um, end up getting wrapped up in white smoke and basically eaten alive, <laughs> you know? Um, because this, this person disrespected a goddess, a whole sacred being. And the other person who knew better was afforded some sort of reward and blessing because of that. Anyways, the point is, is I feel like Scorpio, you might have somebody trying to come for your neck with the Knight of Swords here. And they don't have any idea the rank that you hold in the spiritual realm. Uh, people who are... <laughs> These pe people are facing karma, all right? For disrespecting you, for trying to come at your neck. <laughs> like somebody's, somebody's spirit team is they're done with people disrespecting you, Scorpio, basically is what this feels like. They're, th this feels like y'all got some spirit guides who are over a particular person trying to bind you or control you financially or when it comes to material things, resources, um, your stability, your security, keeping you in fear, keeping you stuck, whether this is a boss, a spouse, ex-spouse, a business partner of some sort being afraid to walk away due to stability and security these energies who are disrespecting you trying to keep you stuck karma is coming for them tell me about in the next seven days for scorpio the knight of wands so you could maybe expect there's some sort of unexpected um, message coming in or somebody taking some sort of unexpected action. Aries Leo Sag energy. You could definitely be taking action towards things that you're feeling very inspired to do here, Scorpio. Taking risks. Um, definitely something about controlling your anger in the next seven days. I feel like I picked this up in one of the other readings I did as well. All right. Um, there could be a knight of wands that is coming towards you in the next seven days. You know, the knight of wands energy, it's fun. It's, um, it's thrilling, but it's also inconsistent. It's in and out. It's player energy. It's somebody who's here for a good time, not a long time. Okay, Scorpios. Give me a little more here in the next seven days for Scorpios. It's funny that in the next seven days came out and I just did a weekly for Scorpios. Temperance. Well, <laughs> my kids are going crazy. The title card here with the temperance on it. So Scorpio, something here is happening in divine timing in the next seven days. Um, or you're needing to allow divine timing to work itself out. There's some sort of new beginning, new chapter that's happening here for you. Um, but you're needing to have patience, okay? Things are being alchemized right now. Things are being, um, 
worked out behind the scenes when it with your spirit guides what else here for in the next seven days with scorpio the five of pentacles okay so some of you in the next seven days is not going to be for everybody um could you could be experiencing this energy of uh, a sense of lack when it comes to finances okay or just an energy of lack around um maybe resources feeling take care of your health scorpio i feel like i said this in one of the other readings too okay bundle up If you're in the, you know, in the cold over here, Scorpio. Um, you could kind of feel left out in the cold in regards to something, Scorpio, um, in the next seven days. But there could be something about your finances coming through. This is going back to this energy right here i don't know one more for in the next seven days the seven of pentacles okay so save your money scorpio some of my scorpios may need to act broke in the next seven days okay save your money i feel like it's yeah knight of pentacles here justice nine of pentacles i feel like there's going to be an increase in your money in the next seven days scorpio or you're, you're going to see an increase in some shape or form for some of you so <clears throat> if you are if you are feeling like damn i don't have any money or i'm in debt or i need you know what i'm saying like i feel like there's something that's growing behind the scenes okay but that's where the patience and the divine timing is coming in all right so continue to <clears throat> invest your time and your energy and resources into the right thing. 17, 17 on the timer when I said that. Um, because I feel like you will be reaping the rewards. Okay. For sure. Tell me about an opportunity is about to knock on your door for Scorpio. The Page of Cups. Okay. So some sort of message coming in here, Scorpio. This could be pertaining to something in regards to something you're, you know, uh, you're talented in or some sort of creative idea or project or this is going to be an opportunity where you're able to express your um self on a creative um in a creative aspect be able to put your talents out there give me a little more about this this could be coming from a cancer pisces scorpio somebody younger than you it doesn't have to be though nine of swords Some of you may get a little anxiety by this opportunity that's presenting itself. Um, why, why is the Nine of Swords here? The moon. Okay, yeah, you see there's fear. Nine of Swords and the moon card. So there's definitely fear around this. But there's success and victory here, Scorpio, and an energy of being able to celebrate. You're needing to trust your intuition on whatever this is. You could be scared of the unknown when it comes to this opportunity. I feel like it is financial for some of you. Yes, definitely with the, do the dollar signs here. But there's fear of the unknown, fear of, you know, the what ifs, the, you know, all that stuff. Anything else here? The Ten of Wands. Okay, maybe there's there could be fear around like, damn, you know, what if this is... This becomes too overwhelming for me and I can't take on all these tasks and all these responsibilities. But I see success and a comp and, and, and something being um, achieved, something being successful here. But I see you kind of holding back and weighing your pros and cons on whatever this is. Three of Wands, something's coming in for you, Scorpio. Ooh, nine of Wands popping right out all right so scorpio there's this energy of not giving up when it comes to this opportunity being resilient yes you know maybe you've gotten burnt in the past by by people but whatever this is i feel like don't allow your fear to consume you
the devil. Yeah. I, I, I just feel there's like a lot of fear here. Yeah, six of cups because of something in regards to the past for some of you. But nine of pentacles is here. This opportunity could really bring in a sense of abundance, wealth, prosperity. This could level up your finances for some of you. Um, but I feel like there's something from the past that s still might be lingering that look at that ten of queen of cups ten of pentacles three of swords though there's something still from the past that's like making you feel like you can't trust the situation you know maybe you feel like the devil's in the details in this scenario here could be dealing with a cancer pisces capricorn uh another scorpio give me one more the four of pentacles i don't know scorpio some of you may end up holding back from this opportunity and i feel like it could be due to a sense of fear feeling overwhelmed feeling like there may be too much on your plate you know you've gotten played before you've you know and and you've had to come out of it i see you be feeling feeling <laughs> i see you feeling and being very protective of yourself what it is that you are working towards your goals the fool yeah you know the fool there's a, there's a risk that's required with when it comes to this scorpio when it comes to this opportunity the fool there's definitely a risk that's required and there could be a lot of fear that you're having you're like i don't know if i want to get myself into this the wheel of fortune this is um this is an opportunity that's, you know, faded and destined to kind of present itself. And whether you take that opportunity, Scorpio, it's up to you. You know, the wheel is kind of turning and it's turning in your favor right now. Five of cups. Yeah, I feel like, yeah, three of cups. Maybe there's something from the past where something didn't work out with a past person or maybe a group of people who you were trying to work with, collaborate with. But yeah, look at that. Queen of Pentacles. I feel like something here will be successful, but definitely getting out of that fear-based energy is is number one importance um for some of you this opportunity could have something to do with children like you know child care daycares you know something like that um i was kind of picking that up too but um wow all right scorpios so somebody who lives for the drama is getting cut out of your life i feel like there's peace and harmony coming in Whoever was trying to keep you financially stuck or bind you financially, you're you're freeing yourself, walking away from this. That person's about to get karma. Whoever's dis has disrespected you, is disrespecting you, has come for your neck like verbally here, Scorpio. They're going to be receiving karma. Somebody's not seeing your your like rank in the spiritual realm. Somebody feels like they can disrespect you because they feel like you're young, you're naive, you I don't like I don't like it. message for scorpios here hera goddess of marriage hera can bless or curse any marriage or love relationship and assist you when caught in, in a third party situation invite more respectful relationships into your life that will honor your needs and feelings don't settle for less we have damara coming out protector of the inner child damara helps bring peace and harmony to troubled families protect the young and healing your inner child Take care of your own inner child. The child within you yearns for attention, understanding, care, and support. <clears throat> Saint Michael, Archangel Michael here. And did, wasn't I picking that up? Who is like God? Archangel Michael can protect you from psychic attacks and have victory over your enemies and evil. You are climbing up the ladder and may attract envious people. Work hard in silence and share less. Okay, so this karma to Scorpio could be at one point somebody having you in some sort of financial bind or restriction. And now you're coming out of that, walking away and stepping into the king of pentacles yourself. Okay, male or female does not matter. All right. Um, mm, 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 mm. Any other messages here for Scorpios? Men talking, longing for home, belonging, the original light workers. So you could be a light worker here, a star seed. 
You may feel like you don't belong in a certain place or you like you don't fit in all the time as well scorpio we have soul family though call in your tribe you don't have to do it alone i feel like a lot of you are calling in your soul tribe and your soul you de may definitely see your soul tribe starting to come in scorpio transformation things are changing at a cellular level deep healing scorpio energy here and we have awakening energetic upgrades a new way a new way of being um, integration and the Pleiades at the bottom, double mission, channeling and uplifting humanity. You may be part of the uh, Pleiadian star seeds here, Scorpio, but you're definitely going through a major transformation. I feel like your life is going through a major transformation as well. Um, wow. Definitely changes happening. Karma is definitely at play here for sure. And somebody I feel like is about to see Scorpio the rank you hold in the spiritual realm. Somebody could have been trying to give you the bare, minim bare minimum, breadcrumb you, especially in a financial situation. Like people who've been playing with you and your money and your stability. That's, that's a no-go. <laughs> that is a no-go, Scorpio. All right. some of these and then some advice and so I'll close it out goddess messages for Scorpios at this time goddess messages for Scorpios at this time We have Nemosin, goddess of memory, called to mind, called to mind a moment of true wakefulness where you popped out of the sleepy lull of forgetfulness and caught a glimpse of who you really are and why you're truly here. Emblazon this lucid memory upon your mind and create a word trick so your sunlit consciousness can be a springboard for you and others to remember, to remember. We have Hecate, goddess of night. You stand at a crossroad, a rite of passage you didn't see coming. Call upon the crone within, your inner witch who holds the wisdom torch that helps you see through the hypnotism of the world. Just when you think all has gone dark, you discover the perfect spell to cast, creating an enduring treasure for you and all involved. Um, oh, wow, I cannot pronounce that. Okay, it says tantric, a deity of great passion. Use your fury to activate your enlightenment. Anger and intense emotion get a bad rap in our society, so we keep them under wraps. However, they can be a positive force when refined and aligned with your most life-serving visions. Allow your divine passion to help you blaze through obstacles and bring forth your greatest dreams. And that is something that I kept saying, Scorpio, keep your anger under control. You know, take it, get some sort of, uh, put it into some sort of creative outlet. All right. Because it could, it will bring in some sort of abundance, all right, um, and get you through some through obstacles as well. All right. <laughs> all right, my Scorpio. Advice for my Scorpios at this time. All right. Wow. We have Totemic Puma, number three, Power Awakening. This is the second time we have two cards coming out. Your birthday could be November 3rd. You could be a life path three. And then we have number one, Hojo, Ho Beauty Way of the Navajo. Your birthday could be on the first. Uh, you could be a life path one. You could be 31 years old. Your birthday could be on the 31st, the 13th, the 4th. You could be a life path four. Okay. All right. Number three, Totemic Puma. Totemic Puma. Am I, am I saying that right? I should, I should look that up. I am power awakening. I am Puma with you. I awaken the vigorous energy, fierce power, and ability to act without hesitation when the moment is right. My patience and strategy, my preparation and precision, my fearlessness and decisiveness are now your own. Allow my sacred medicine to fill your soul and bring courage to your heart. You have come into your power. You've got this. Don't let fear or hesitation hold you back. Apply yourself fully to the task. Let go of old ways of viewing yourself as incapable, scattered, or wasteful of energy. 
You have the ability to focus intently, to generate clear intention, and to achieve your ambitions through methodical steps and an applied will. You have the internal resources you need for successful completion. Even if no one else recognizes your potential or believes in your future success, they will understand differently in due course. By then, you will already be moving on to your next next task. Trust your t- sense of timing. Have patience. When you know it is the time to leap, do so without hesitation. Puma moves through your soul as guardian and guide. When Puma appears, it is a significant sign that you have come into your power. Puma moves with stealth and silence. Observant and patient as she narrows her fo- focus, she cultivates energy so that the correct excuse me, the correct amount of inner power for the outer action is there when needed. When she strikes, it is with precision and effectiveness. She doesn't waste energy. She chooses her opportunities. Hesitation is not in her nature. There is no time or energy for doubts and uncertainty when one is fully engaged, consciously participating in the moment. And that's what I was talking about with this opportunity that's presenting itself, Scorpio. You're knocking on your door. You may wonder if this sounds much like you. You may consider yourself to be, at least sometimes, more of a doubter than one prone to fearlessness and certainty. Yet the soul medicine of Puma builds within us silently. We may not even realize that her power is there until suddenly, when it is needed, we act with unerring focus and unwavering commitment. We literally didn't know we had it in us until the time came and an attitude of swift, unfailing responsiveness somehow arose from within. Puma is cautious, steady, and poised until the right moment to act is upon her. Then she leaves her cover behind and with unwavering focus, she strikes. You are guided by her to keep your motives, plans, and preparation out of public view. Attend to your work. Become ready to be it rather than talk about it. Part of this medicine is strategy, planning, and visualizing visualizing the end result. This requires simplicity and clarity. Even if the destiny you are seeking to manifest is big and bold, there will be simple steps to take along the way. Puma is a huntress with singular focus. She goes after what is required at each moment, one step at a time, and thereby attains her goals. She strikes successfully because she works precisely. Take time to formulate your goals. Go after them one by one with patience and calculated timing. Take charge of the situation through a willingness to bide your time, cultivate energy and courage, and trust your intuition to leap when you know the the right moment is upon you. Puma might bring us the power we need to step into a new role, seize control of a failing project, cut off a toxic situation in our lives, or cease unhelpful negative self-talk. She indicates that a changing relationship with power is available to you now. If you have been repelled by, by the malicious use of power by others, or even yourself, recognize this and let it go. Forgive. Give yourself the chance to use your power safely and wisely. Know that you are smart enough to learn from what didn't honor your soul in the past. When you ask the divine to guide you from within your heart, your movements in the world shall benefit more than only yourself. This is just use of power, surrendered and in service to the great power of the divine. will help you overcome your reluctance and lay claim to your will. Your will is needed to transform inspiration into action. The world truly needs this from you. Whatever it is that you dream of attaining or desire to do in this world, Puma arrives with this message. You have the power. Then we have number one. <clears throat> beauty way of the navajo you are my sacred earth child and i am your divine earth mother with unconditional love i provide all that you want and need so that you may fulfill your sacred destiny we will always belong to each other with abundance and generosity i support you and reveal such divine beauty meant for you that joy and awe shall fill your soul relax now it is time for you to be healed there is a beautiful solution available do not place your faith in worry or stress allow life to unfold As you relax and give yourself permission to rest within the vastness and beauty of nature, you will become receptive to the best way to handle things. Don't try to figure it out by force. Let go and trust that what is needed is coming to you at the perfect time, in the perfect way. Your peaceful mind shall readily and accurately perceive all that you need to know. Beneath the noise, beneath your worries and concerns, there is oneness between you and life. Even though your world may feel chaotic at times, even if you fear you have gone off track, The path that will return you to peace, beauty, balance, and harmony is always here for you. You do not have to become stressed or exhausted to fix what isn't working. Solutions can come to you more easily when you allow yourself to drop out of pain and into the pleasure of the beauty of life. 
Sometimes problems will disappear altogether in this place, and you shall realize that they were nothing more than the dark creation of a fatigued mind, which is what I'm seeing here with this Nine of Swords moon and devil energy. Sometimes you will discover a different way to look at things. A helpful vision gifted by spirit. Applying a simple and inspired idea can change everything and free up your energy so you can become more productive. Honoring life's beauty isn't about ignoring the reality of the world or becoming superficial. Instead, it is a deep spiritual feeding, feeling of trust, openness, and appreciation of the divine presence shining in all aspects of life. This appreciation restores the soul with the sublime recognition of a greater loving intelligence that is always present, always inviting, always responding. When some form of ugliness is disturbing your soul, threatening to steal your peaceful trust in the divine, you are guided to come back to the beauty of life, back into worshipful reverence of the sacred. From that place, you then become empowered to deal with the situation in a way that increases love and joy in yourself and the world. Rather than being overtaken by ugliness, offer beauty instead. Can you relax for a moment now? This is your first step into the spirit of the beauty way. Allow the simple beauty of nature, of human kindness, of divine love to seep deep into your soul, infusing it like a sacred tea. Divine beauty moves through you and fills you, bringing you a lightly euphoric feeling. You can be uplifted, renewed, at peace. The divine feminine knows how to create beautiful harmony. She includes you, your life journey, all human beings, and the world as a whole within her wisdom and grace. When you, relax her, when you relax into her beauty, she will show you many possibilities. She will help you attract what you need and want most. In this way, you can become a channel through which her creative healing energy can flow abundantly into your life and to others in this world. Scorpios, if this resonated, like, comment, subscribe, and share. I love y'all. Until next time. Bye.